I was sitting at a table with him and uh, Skeet Reese the first year I was here, and I don't know if it was Boudreaux or someone else came over to me and said, hey, you need to go, was it you or was it you that came over and said, I w- ask Skeet Reese if he has a yellow Lamborghini. Who, who? That was, that was <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. And, he, and Skeet looked at me like I was from another planet. <laughs> that was Ken. I remember that. It might have been you, you know. That you, you were, you're pulling an Ike and Ellie on me. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was in Birmingham. It was. I what saw you it? before the two. That is, it was you. We were talking <laughs> next to the food. We were walking up to the food together, and you said it. Yeah, we had Zara and, and, and we sitting, sitting at, at our table. table for lunch. I occasionally like to make suggestions <laughs> to Steve <laughs> as to how how he might entertain me. You did. You did like say he wanted to enhance the experience. <laughs> ask, see, ask Mark Davis to tell you his Brian Kirchner oh, story. And then Mark, ask this guy to do this. Mm-hmm. I won't even go to the Ask Mark Davis about story about it. <laughs> <laughs> Stan and Steve's like, what? You're not a cookie. Ask, if, ask, him. ask <laughs> if you can pull Kevin Van Damme's finger. You know, whatever it might be. <laughs> so Steve will do anything if you give him a cookie in his hand. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> that's true. John Will Jim only, though. <laughs> we were talking about the year, uh, the Casey Ashley year during one of the breaks. We were reminiscing on the fun and the knowledge that Ken has. Were you with were you? What year was that? It was 2015. The, by the way, b- during the break, the show gets really good, folks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can swear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy... I have to tone down some of the things that are in my head. No and, doubt. And, and you not have to say, turn the filter on. Well, it's the <laughs> filter, and, and I, start, I start talking a lot faster and get distracted, too. But not your singing voice. Not my singing voice. It's always pitch perfect. But we were talking about the Casey Ashley that year and how what happens is is the media's the media <laughs> I call ourselves media. The media is allowed to go out as marshals uh for one day of the classic. You can No, for actually for any day of the classic. Yeah. But I don't think we can get the last day. Uh I you used to be able to. I'm, I'm sorry, if I I'll set the stage a little bit for you if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, yeah, uh, having worked at Bass a long time, uh Bass has always encouraged media to attend the classic and one of the perks is you can actually be on the boat on, with the Bass on. Master let, Classic One competitor. of the perks, the only perk. Okay, the only perk <laughs> is that you have the opportunity to be on the water with Let's the Bass Master Classic competitor <laughs> while he's competing for fishing's grandest prize. And uh, naturally, each tournament has a favorite or yes. a, a set of favorites. Kevin Van Dam is kind of a favorite everywhere he goes, and people... Uh, People lobby to get in that spot in his boat, and it's first come first serve. You put down who you want, and they give you five op. They you put your top five people, and that year, 2015, on Lake Hartwell in South Carolina, everybody knew that Casey Ashley was the favorite. And like a week before, I get a, I get, a, you get a text that says, "Who here's who you have been paired with," and to the unbelievable excitement, I get paired. With Casey Ashley. I call Mike. I'm like, you're not going to believe what just happened. I got paired with Casey Ashley. It's who impossible. was the favorite. Who was the favorite. Hands in. down. By Hands far. down the favorite. And that was big. That was big news for us being, you know, news. a radio you know, a radio show out of Florida. Yes. You know, we went to Tulsa. We did, the, you know, we did Alabama. But yeah. this was big news, man. This was, Steve was going to make it. Uh, yeah, this was. <laughs> uh, this going to make it for us. So, One of the kids from the hood. <laughs> at some point, <laughs> at some point, I texted Ken, and, and then we also saw Ken a couple days before the tournament. We maybe we had dinner or something, or lunch or something. We saw you, and Ken says Mike and I are talking to Ken, and Ken says it was, a, it was media morning breakfast, like before yeah, our media well, interviews I, that day. I, I had Steve had informed me via text that he had gotten Casey Ashley on day one of the classic. He had informed me by text. And then we get to this breakfast or lunch or whatever it is. Mike and Ken and I are all sitting talking, and Ken says, go ahead. He, he I'm looked, like, why don't you tell the story? He looked you dead in the eye and was like, there is no way in hell you're going to be in Casey <laughs> Ashley's boat. That's right. <laughs> the exact words. Now, I get unbelievably offended by this. <laughs> I'm, whoa, whoa, What? I am offended that yep. they, you think that they're going to kick me, Steve Chapman, off that boat. 
<laughs> my ego is bigger than but anything trust, trust at that me, point. Trust me when I say that that I love you almost as much as you do. We <laughs> 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 were talking no about way. the love yesterday. <laughs> we should go into that. <laughs> there was no way you're going to be in Casey Ashley's boat. I, I knew this. But, but Ken did had I, I. Ken, you had no idea the resume Steve put together <laughs> to to. to to, to go ahead and try to get on that boat, you understand. I this is I usually don't pull the 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 radio card string ever because mm-hmm. I it isn't me. I made it specific to Heather Miller. <laughs> I need to be on Casey Ashley's boat, mm-hmm. and and Heather, our great friend, yes, is like you want to know what? Was it Heather? Was it Helen White? Was it who it was, was doing Heather it at the time? It was okay. Heather. This okay, Heather got him on the original. Boat. Heather says, "I've got you." I see her at the thing. I've got you covered. We are close friends. And, I'm like, and she did her best. She did exactly what she said. She got you on there for a while. <laughs> so I get Mike. Mike realizes right away I am. You were, I, you were upset. I was upset. Ken with would you. say that. that I said, would, look, but Ken doesn't work for Bass anymore, man. What the hell does he know? <laughs> I, in the meantime, in my head, I'm like, this guy's not going to make it. It's going to be. He's, my, my good friend's going to crumble, man. I have to keep him from the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> but to you, I was saying, yeah, you dude, you were going to do it, man. Come on. Mike was like that. He was like, don't worry about it. Don't Ken, worry about it. You're going to get on know there. anything. Don't he worry, was, man. Steve Keep your was, hopes alive. Steve, Keep hope alive. <laughs> Steve was so thrilled to get that You spot. know, I, I went out and bought he an extra camera. High. You have no idea all the photos we're going to do. I'm going to be on the boat with the classic winner mm-hmm. on day one. I'm going to be his BFF. Yep. <laughs> Casey and I are going to be like this. We're going to play guitar <laughs> together. <laughs> duets. I'm going to harmonize. <laughs> He's going to play the guitar and I'm all saying. <laughs> so all the whole day, Mike is saying, don't worry about it. Ken doesn't know this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Mike, if you'd like to tell the rest of the story, because I'm well, we were setting up, up for the expo, <laughs> so I was getting it in waves. But then we we were heading home in the box truck late that evening, and like eight thirty nine o'clock. Yeah, it was you. dark out. It was just you know, it was just us cruising back to the to the cabin or the house we were staying at. Oh, and uh, off the nice lake house, there. That's right. Yeah. yeah, it was nice, but it was a good drive. It's cold. That's where I the, wanted to walk home. <laughs> it was the naked walk home day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. And sure enough, he was like, I didn't. I was like, did. We met up after the. I was setting up for the expo. We met up. He got in the trunk. I said, "Did you did you hear from Bass? Did they tell you 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 got bumped?" He's like, "No." I was like, "Dude, it's eight o'clock. You're in. You're in, buddy." <laughs> sure enough, halfway half an hour into that drive, he gets a text and he's like, "Oh no!" Looking at his phone with such sadness, lip starts to tremble, <laughs> bottom lip. He starts to breathe heavy, and sure enough, I just see a, a tear come down his cheek. In the glow of the dashboard lights. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now we're listening to to Chili Peppers and we're singing. Yeah. Mike and I are going crazy. I was like, "Is that it?" And he's like, "Damn it, can do it, do it." And I texted you instantly. I said, "You jinxed me, Duke. Uh huh. You jinxed no, me. I didn't jinx you." And then you. I said, "And then I said to Mike." What what do you think he did to get this done? <laughs> what, what, what did he do to him? Oh, that's what terrible. You would think he, I would intentionally I said, do that Ken to Ken Duke would not do that to you. I wanted you to be in Casey Ashley's boat. I thought that would have been great, but I knew it wasn't going to happen. And I texted Boudreaux. You didn't know this, but I said, get some chocolate chip cookies to the house. <laughs> I am coming with, with Steve. And he's gonna ice need, cream. He doesn't drink, so he's going to need some something uh, to knock the edge off. Hey, that that was, if you remember when we got we bought, back. I bought moonshine. Hey, he, remember? He ended up having drinks. He was so upset I, Thursday night. I drank night. Moon, a shot of moonshine. Well, that was just a, it was a yeah. sip of moonshine. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, cried my big head it, to sleep that night. People put more <laughs> people put more alcohol in their baby's teeth when they're teething than what Steve drank that night. But he ate a lot of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so uh, disappointed. So disappointed. To that. explain to those listening, uh, Bass has six or eight cameras. Six. And they put them in the boats of the guys who think are going to be the biggest stories. And that usually means Kevin Van Dam is going to have a, a, a camera with him and also the tournament favorites. And since there was no bigger favorite than Casey Ashley that year, I knew with basically 100% certain. I didn't have any inside information. I just knew how the system works. I was, and then we get, of course, <laughs> then I get, not like I'm stuck with Brandon Palinick, but then I get Brandon Palinick, and then he pulled that terrible, terrible <laughs> joke on me. <laughs> yeah, terrible had, joke. Had he known you had already been he slapped knew. around? He did know. Okay. 
That, you you were fragile. You mind we got, I got on the boat and he goes, he, his exact he words were, fragile. I'm your second pick? That's what he said <laughs> to me. And I'm like, Brandon, yep. what? He, and then we, well, okay.